Good day coders. As you know, we are here to simplify these coding concepts. Today we'll be focusing on auth guards, which is used to protect routes from unauthorized access. So currently with our application, the user um, can access any page without logging in, which is not good, as you can see. So we wanna protect this page and say, if the user is not um, authorized, then, um, don't access those pages and that will be implemented using the auth guard so first and foremost what we want to create is in our auth um, service we want to say check is logged in if the user is logged in and this should be true right if the local storage dot get item right so if we have a token in our local storage so this is going to be this token name right if our token is not equal to now, right? So that's what we want. So that's the first thing we want. And we also want to have a log out. So the log out will just remove the token from local storage dot remove item. Um, the item we want to remove is this token from the local storage. All right, so that's all we need. And um, for the logging out, we will say here in the profile, if we click the log out, we just want to have this auth guard, this auth service, um, private auth service, private auth service, auth service, right? And then say, if we log out, then that should remove our token. All right, so now let's go ahead and implement our auth guard, right? So what we need to do is in our guards uh, directory, you want to generate a guard, right? And that guard is an auth guard. Okay, let's uh, wait for that to generate and we'll use this can activate. So now let's spin up our local server, right? And now let's open this. First and foremost, let's remove obsolete code. We don't need these, this, and this. This will cause errors and we'll just remove all that. So the only thing we need over here is this can activate because this class implements a can activate. So we'll just return like a Boolean, right? And we'll now have like our constructor and actually inject um we'll inject our service and also use the router right so private uh auth service which is auth from our auth service and we also have this private underscore router which is from from our router all right that's fine um so this is separated by a comma. All right, so let's remove this, right? So what do we wanna do over here, right? So first and foremost, we wanna check if the user is uh, authorized, right? So how we do this uh, is logged in, I mean to say, right? So how we do this is from our auth service, right? Dot log is logged in. We'll use this is logged in, right? And then if, this is true, right? We'll just say uh, carry on with the route, right? And else, right? Else, we just want to say return false. So this return false will say don't carry on with our route, right? So uh, what we then want to do over here is actually then redirect the user, right? So with redirecting the user, we'll use this router.navigate by URL. And then this will then send the user to the login scheme. So awesome. So that's all we need in our auth guard, right? All right. Um, so since that's all we need, but still, let's see if the user can you see that the user can still access these pages, right? So we don't want the user to access the settings because they are not logged in. We don't want them to access the ad and edit, right? Okay, 
So what do we now need to do? <laughs> so now the next step that we want to do is um, come over here in actually our apps uh, modules. And in our apps modules, we just want to uh, add this auth guard as a provider, right? So this is under our provider. We want this auth guard. And then we want to say can activate. So, so in all the routes we want to protect, we need this can activate. And then we want to pass in our auth guard. Right? So this is for our uh, home page over here. And you will see what will happen. Um, so let's see what's the issue. Okay. And this guy, we have an error somewhere over here, oh, which is because we didn't save. And now let's test our application, right? So now we can see that if the user tries to go to this page over here, they can't access that page. But if the user tries to go to the profile page, they can because this doesn't have like an auth guard, right? So now if the user goes here in our login page and says bugarray at gmail.com and password one two three four five and then they say enter now they can access that page so we just want to protect all the other routes that require the user to be authorized uh, so let's go to our routes and copy this can activate and we want to say that you don't need to be authorized to log in and register but you need to be authorized to add like a task. Uh, you need to be authorized to edit and you need to be authorized to view the profile. All right, so now you see over here is if we now go to our profiles page, we can actually access that page. But if we go to our profile page and go over there and try to access that profile, that should send us back to our login screen. So now we'll say buggery at gmail dot dot com and then one, two, three, four, five. And if we click login, now we can see. So there was an issue on like the last <laughs> uh, video, which is we couldn't see the title and the description, right? And this is because over here, now this is like a bonus, right? Um, this is because over here, I think we have like a class, which is our interface to do, right? We have this description and this title, right? But this is not mapping to what our actual get all task is giving us back. So this is task description instead of just task, um, instead of just description. And this is task title instead of title right so how we can go about fixing that is coming right here and say we just want to say title title equals to that and description and our description now equals to that all right so now we can just spin up our API. <laughs> All right, so now I think when we go to our home page, we should be able to now see every other thing. All right, so if we just log in and actually refresh that page, we should see now our title and that. So we are actually done. <laughs> so if you liked the video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now, peace.